What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. Oh, that's right. We're continuing the Beyond series. Oh, it's wonderful. I'm loving it. I'm still loving it. I haven't had any issues since the hotfix, which is fantastic. And in betwixt the episodes, I was waiting because I was like, you know what? In order to do the things I want to do, we have to have the scanner. We have to have the, sur the survey device. We had to have it. So I found some sodium diodes. My gosh, it took forever. But in the process of trying to find that, I found an S-Class uh, analysis visor upgrade. That is right. So um, I don't know if it's still quite the, the th oh, I put it in the wrong spot. Uh, oh, rewire technology to a new spot. What? <gasps> oh, you could move them. Oh my gosh, you can actually move them. That's amazing. So what this guy does, is it increases the amount you get for scanning flora and fauna. And it says like, you know, scan rate is 31% for analysis rewards plus 9,450%. Uh, so you can stack these, you can stack these bad boys and you can get a lot of stuff from scanning stuff. So let's go ahead. Let's give her a try. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've already scanned like all of these. I think I've scanned like almost everything on this planet. <laughs> uh, the, uh, okay. Uh huh. <gasps> There's something. All right, let's see what we get. We got 25,000 units from scanning that plant. Oh my gosh. Talk about money making. Holy moly, 25, I got 25,000 for scanning something. Oh my gosh. Okay, what about this rock? Oh, if you stacked three of these. Oh, we only got, we only got 200. Wait, was that like an uncommon thing? immature um i don't think so i don't know oh my gosh <laughs> that's a lot that makes me want to go out and find more uh waveform recycler profile letters uh-huh less the device recharge significantly improve rate increase percentage. okay so i'd like to get more however i need more slots we need more slots for our stuff um and i don't have an s-class multi-tool yet uh let's not talk about that so anyways let's get this guy done and upgraded. Let's get that optical drill on here. We've done it. He's done it. Look at that. We got that. We got this. We got these. Oh, if everything is looking wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so survey device. Uh, install survey device. We did that. Okay, activate survey mode. Whoa. Hotspot proximity. Oh, okay. So what am I? Oh, deep level mining. Okay, so how do I, how do I switch? How do I switch between, uh, to analyze and then to zoom? How do I switch between the, uh, cause I can see that it shows like the mining tool, but then I'm looking for the electrical and the, the other things. So now that I'm reading this, it says adding real time terrain analysis. To scanner array, toggle between visor modes with Q, use surveying mode to detect hidden terrain resources. Uh, I wonder if there's a different one for like terrain analysis and like uh, the geothermal analysis. Because it said, hmm, it said under the, the deal, right? Tech, uh, power, power, this guy. It said under here that we needed to place it within an electromagnetic magnetic field. However, I don't, I don't have electro, I don't have that one. Hmm. All right, well, let's just see where this guy's at. We're like 90 something away. This place is, this place is hot. Looks like we're really close to it. So is it just like right below us? Or do I like put stuff here? Oh. It's analyzing. Hotspot di discovered copper. Oh. Really? Uh, wait, how do I? Okay, cool, but uh, copper right here. Okay, so if I put, boom, that guy right here. So copper is right, right here. So I should put a thing here. Density 100 yields copper. So I could put a miner right here. Well, it takes power though, doesn't it? 
So I'd have to run wires all the way over here. Is that what is that how the uh, is that how the mining deal is gonna have to work? Hmm. I'm kind of wondering if it is. Um, okay. Neato. So we might have to do that. But now I want to go back to I want to go to the Nexus. I want to see what other visor upgrades there are. I want to see if there's anything for like the uh, electromagnetic magnetic fields because like that was initially why I bought it. But I mean it's good for the mining stuff too. Uh, okay, so activate this guy. No hot spots around here. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, I guess we got lucky with that one then, didn't we? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. All right. Let's go check the upgrades guy. See if he has anything else for us. Also, I have noticed, and I'm curious if this is like a constant thing. There is the exosuit upgrades right here. And over here, exosuit upgrades. Before, you'd have to go to a new space station every single time you wanted to get a, uh, a, new, a new deal. So that one costs 50,000 units. That doesn't cost 10,000. So let's go ahead and do that. But it looks like you can re-interact with it. Like, oh, oh. Maybe you have to leave and come back. Because I've, act I've, I've activated this guy a few times already. Like, well, I, I guess that's only the second time. Anyways, uh, multi-tool research. All right, what do you got? What do you got for us? Oh, you know, I just realized I don't have any nanites. <laughs> I have no nanites. <gasps> Survey device. Hmm. Weird. Interesting. Not exactly sure. Hmm. But I wonder if every time you come back, you can upgrade your suit because I think that's what, uh, that's kind of what I did. Uh, so yeah, because last time I bought this one and now I have this one. Uh, ooh, I need to kind of fix those up a little bit. <laughs> need to fix those up a little bit. Alrighty. So there's that, I guess. Let's head back and let me play with this survey thing. I want to get this electromagnetic thing set up, but I, I don't exactly know what it is. All right, so I think we have what we need. Power, let's see. Industrial, this guy. Oh, metal plating. Uh, Wait a second, I think I have some in here. So I was using the little, the, uh, little copper refinery deal and it's nice, but it, it gets very time consuming once you have to, once you have bigger numbers, it gets, it gets very time consuming. Uh, okay, so let's see, metal plating. I'm pretty sure I had, yeah. Okay, so I have five. Let's see. All right, perfect. All right, cool. So we have what we need. Let's go set this over here on this copper deal. And let's kind of see what happens. Let's see, my beacon. I think it's over here. I set up a little teeny tiny guy. I set up the waypoint deal. Uh, Well, I thought I did. Where did, I, where did it go? Ah, here it is. Okay, perfect. And it should be the same one. Yeah. Is it gonna scan it again? It might actually scan it again. Are you gonna scan? Oh yeah, it's gonna do the little scanny deal again. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I mean, I guess that's cool. Hotspot discovered. All right, fantastic. So, I would like to put, <gasps> oh! It's Autonomous Mining Unit. Autonomous Harvester. Because I, it's not next to my base. So it's actually not gonna work. Okay, you know what? That's, let's let's go put it on our base and let's see what happens there. Is it gonna let me do anything? Or is it gonna be like a certain percentage? So I would have to set up another base right there. Like a whole nother computer deal and stuff like that. And I probably couldn't run power all the way. We could just throw a solar panel and a battery though. Uh, I mean, that that could be a thing. So let's, let's just build it. Let's see. No. Um, tech. Gen what? No, industrial. That's what I want. Okay. Mineral extractor. Editing this base. And I think if I try to bring it out here, it's not going to let me build it because it's going to be out of the base range. All right. Well, I mean, I it, uh, I guess it's going to work. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> it disappeared. Are you serious? Does my, my stuff seriously, it literally ends right here. No. All right, let's just do this. Let's sneak it in there. We'll do uh. perfect. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Try to outsmart me. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so we'll go back in here and perfect power industry wiring. Is it going to say too long or anything? 
Can I can I seriously just drag this all the way back to my base? No way. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can bring it all the way back. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's gonna work. So we'll obviously put this on a switch of some sort. And uh, ooh, I probably should have put the switch on the other side. That's fine. That's fine. So I want to get this guy fired up, and I want to see what happens. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to be able to do that or not. I Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The base computer expands out really far, though, so that's kind of neat. Um, all right. We'll just put it on here. Oh, my gosh. It connected. And I bet you we have some severe power draw now. Right? Holy moly. It's using 221. <gasps> what? Okay, let's go check it out. Let's go see what it's doing. Are we getting, like, a ton of copper right now? Or is it like a little teeny tiny bit? I want to know. I'm getting some satisfactory vibes over here. Uh, okay, so this thing is going. Mineral extractor. Overall storage. Network extraction rate. 250 per hour. Volume 250 per cycle. Lifetime. It only gets 250? Yields copper? What? And it's using that much power? Hmm. You know, I don't know about this thing. I don't think I really want to use this for that. I think we're just going to I think we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to bring that back with us. Yeah, we're going to bring that back with us. I want to put it over by the base and see if it gets anything over there because that thing uses a lot of power. We could gather that by hand so much faster. However, there might be a lot there, but we could just it's copper. That's, that's one thing that's kind of an infinite resource. So I'm just, yeah, I, I, I'm not sold on that thing yet. All right, what if we throw it like right here? So let's do this. Let's throw it right there and we'll connect it to right here. Is this gonna get anything here? Nothing, it's not getting anything. No mineral deposit. Okay, so it does have to go there. <gasps> Weird. It doesn't give you very much. I was thinking it was going to give you like a lot, you know, but 250 per hour? That's like nothing. I, I can make 250 by hand in here. Like way faster by just duplicating this stuff. Uh, wait, where's. Wait, where did it? Where did it all? Where, wait, what? Where did my. Where did my copper and stuff go? Copper. And chromatic metal right there. Okay, so yeah, I should be. I just missed it. Okay, so copper right here, and then chromatic metal. I'm missing it. I'm missing it. Where are you? No. Chromatic metal right here, and boom. That's gonna give me 364 copper right there just by doing that, like for nothing. Hmm. Okay. Now well, that's a little dis. <laughs> that's a little disappointing. Uh, I'm not gonna run with that right now. I was excited, but. Not, not so much now. Not so much. Okay. Uh, ooh. We were not pulling 250 watts from that because I had this guy on. Because if I throw this back on. 170. Oh. Hmm. It was still pulling quite a bit of power, though. Yeah, definitely quite a bit of power. Okay. Well, that's a thing, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. But look at that. We have 360-something copper now. Look at I can I can more copper. Do it again to get another 176. And then we turn copper into chromatic metal. Stop it. Put it over. Yeah, see, that's that's this is the way to go for copper for sure. Absolutely 100 percent No doubt about it. All right. So that bit is done. Uh, let's quick transfer these to storage. And what else do I want to quick transfer this stuff? Don't need that. Uh, don't need the hydrogen jelly on the fly. Um, okay. All right. Cool. 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 So unfortunately that was, that was kind of a bust. <laughs> that was not that exciting. Uh, you want a Corvax converge cube. What do you want, dude? I keep forgetting what these people want. Cause we got to do some mission stuff. I want to do some more base building, uh, scientific research. Yeah. Corvax cube expanding the base, uh, acquire circuit board. So we need a circuit board. I haven't got a circuit board yet. Um, what else do we got? Dig site. Uh, oh, Let's check out our mining beam. Our new, uh, yeah, our new mining beam. Let's see how much stuff we get. Because it says it increases the amount that we get by 50%. Okay, so how much? 
I have eight carbon. All right, let's I have eight carbon right now. Let's go ahead and get this guy and see how much we get out of it. Now, the carbon that's like over there on the screen doesn't necessarily represent how much we're actually getting. Holy moly. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're getting, I mean, we're getting pretty darn good stuff here. Not bad. I'm gonna mine these three trees right here. And let's see what we get. And then the hotter the laser gets, the faster it mines, which is amazing. I really like that little fact. Okay, so we got that. 305 carbon out of, wow. All right. Uh, mining beam upgrade for the win, for sure. That's awesome. Too handy, too handy, okay. So we have that, we have those, we have this. I don't know that we're generating enough power to let this guy run all the time. Are these things like completely full? 83%, we have 150,000 in storage. <laughs> oh, that's quite a bit. Um, Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's leave it on. We'll see what happens. Because we're drawing quite a bit of power. Are we drawing more than we... Oh, yes. We are drawing way more than we're using. Oh, that is an issue. That is why I wanted the... Where's the... the no. Industrial power. That's why I want this guy. I want this guy, but I don't... I don't think it's going to work because I don't know how to scan for the stuff yet. All right, let's make some chromatic metal. All right, so we got this bad boy. Let's just throw it down, see what it does. Okay, generating zero. Absolutely nothing. Uh, grid set's not connected, power output, low field strength. No electromagnetic field detected. So how do I get that? Because I see, I see there's the mining, I see the electrical, and I see the storm. Right there below the thing. A uh, hotspot discovered. All right, so maybe, maybe we don't have to actually switch between the two. Maybe it will automatically. Oh, there. Okay, yeah. You don't actually switch between the two. It just tells you what it's scanning. So a pow a electromagnetic field is over here. Oh, that makes so much more sense now. Hopefully it's within my base range. All right, we're getting close. Where do we got? Where are you? Here it is. Oh, hotspot discovered. Let's go ahead and mark that. And okay, so that's marked. Now, can I build? No, I cannot. Let's see how far back I have to go before I can build. A deal. Oh, this is going to be an issue because I'm still very not close at all. Oh, darn. Oh, geez. Oh, I have to be all the way over here. I don't think there's any way that I can get this to work. Maybe. Might be able to get it to work. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's pull that back up. Oh, it didn't. It got rid of it. Hotspot right there. 71. Okay, so if I can put it right there and then connect it. All right, that's what we got <laughs> We got to do. We got to be sneaky about it. I don't know that this is actually supposed to work. Chromatic metal. Wait, what? Where did my chromatic metal go? I, oh, I had chromatic metal. All right, we should be good now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place this guy right there. Fantastic. Now, I'm also curious. Can I place more than one in the same area? Because if you could do that. Oh, Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Let's bring it up. <laughs> How much power does this thing actually make, though? Hmm. This wire is extremely long, and I love that this works. Now, I could plug it in here and power the whole base with it. Maybe? Let's do it. Okay, it doesn't look like it's getting enough power. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go see what happened here. All right, what's going on here? It's producing a hundred. Oh, wait, then why is it not? Power grid usage, 151 use, 150 available. <gasps> oh, field strength, a hundred. So this guy right here will almost power my entire base. So could I build multiples in the same area? Oh, you can bet we're going to try that. Cause what do I need? Chromatic metal and some metal plating. Shoot. That is 
Do I have regular ferrite? Um, I don't have ferrite dust. Oh, I have some back at the base. Okay. Oh, we are going to try that for sure. If that gives us 150,000, if I put like three of them right there, that's that's a lot of power. Oh, wait a second. I I forgot I had this one here. <laughs> that's that's why I didn't have the uh that's why I didn't have enough to make the other one. Well, I guess we're going to have enough to make four now in total. <laughs> that's wonderful. Uh okay, put that in here. A oh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, do some more copper making stuff. Make I need what 75 75 so I need 150 not bad. We can handle that. All right, we should be good So if it all works out, I don't know Maybe you can only put so many within a certain area of each other that would make sense that way you couldn't have like, you know stupid power, but um, if this works and we get uh, Well, if we if we get this to work and we're gonna have what 150 100 we're gonna have 600,000 power which that's silly <laughs> it's absolutely silly hopefully it works hopefully it works okay so go ahead and grab this guy tech power industrial this guy fantastic one there one there one there perfect okay so now we got to run some wire so let's grab this guy and we're gonna run to like right here i want to try connecting Got it. There and this last one. It's right there. And then this guy. <gasps> oh, is this going to work? I hope this does. Are we really about to have 600,000 power? Like, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I was thinking, I was like, oh, man, power is going to be an issue here. Because I was like, oh, solar power. That's the way to go. That is the way to go. Uh, It might not be. <laughs> it might not be at all. All right, let's connect it up. And let's go check our power situation. Are we at approximately 600,000 power? We're producing 700,000 power right now. <laughs> yes, the batteries are fully charged. Like time until charge, 26 seconds. <laughs> they can't hold any more power. This is fantastic. We have infinite power. Oh, I love it. It feels good. It feels great. Uh, I definitely don't need. All right. I don't, I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't even need these solar panels to be completely honest. We don't need that. Let's go ahead and get rid of these wires. Um, I do actually not even need this anymore because I can run full time because I believe it says infinite power. Boom. Good to go. All right. Um, so we're running 600,000 power right now. That's absolutely disgustingly awesome. I love it so much. And we have four batteries. We could have a whole field of batteries if we wanted to. Oh my goodness. That is fantastic. So that right there is going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Let's go over here and let's just marvel in our beautiful power situation that we have before we leave. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. But um, yes, also hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos. So this is pretty neato. And we could have even put more here if we wanted to. Apparently we could just like feel fill this entire area. Well, now actually, now it makes me wonder. Activate survey mode. Uh. If we can have these here and uh, can we run power? Can we run power lines? General uh, portable. It doesn't look like we can run any power lines. Atmosphere harvester. Wait a second. Will that harvest oxygen? Oh, we've got to try that in the next episode as well. But uh, yeah, these guys right here. That's that's uh, that's infinite power right there. Mm hmm. Hundred and fifty thousand. I'm guessing that's volts per minute. I'm gonna say maybe. Uh, power grid storage is 180,000. <laughs> oh, this is such a good thing. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, and I don't think there's anything else around here that we haven't scanned yet. So, but uh, next episode, I think we're gonna focus a little bit on the farming. I kind of want to get a farm set up, and that is because once we start getting into later stuff, we craft products. Uh, let's see, for example, polyfiber, right? That's 130,000 units for what? Takes cactus flesh and starble. So if we can get a farm set up and start harvesting these things, like that's that's easy money right there. 
Uh, but then you can combine them into where? Wait, what is that? Creature pellets. Oh, that's right. You can have animals. Wait, we can ride animals now too. That's right. I forgot. Um, yeah, living glass. That's five hundred sixty-six thousand at Fasium and Gamma Root. Yeah, yeah, Face Facium. I think it's Facium. Facium and Gamma Root. Uh, so that's five hundred and fifty-six, uh, five hundred sixty-six thousand. But then you also have where is circuit board? That's nine hundred. So that's the polyfiber plus heat capacitor. I don't have the heat capacitor yet. But anyways, those are all things that you can farm later. So those are all great ways to make the moolah as well. Um, well, besides the uh, scanning stuff, like that's it's fairly easy. But once you get a big farm set up, like you're gonna be we're gonna be rolling in the units. We could go buy all the S class ships, and you bet we will. Oh, you can bet we will. But um. I'm going to quit talking. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like I said, have a fantastic weekend. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.